530. Tonight, controversy over plans to sell marijuana on local Indian reservations. The Department of Justice changing how it enforces marijuana laws on Indian lands, but the new policy causing a lot of confusion and concern. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is now here with more. Ed. Well, Jeff, because so many states are making forms of marijuana use legal, the Department of Justice plans to stop prosecuting the recreational growing and use of marijuana on Indian reservations. But those actions are still very illegal in New York State. And now a lot of questions about what all this means. Everything is so much up in the air right now. This has struck us just like it has everybody else. The new Department of Justice policy caught a lot of people off guard, including the Seneca Nation of Indians, who had this statement. And so what we're trying to do now is just evaluate it and see if there are responsible opportunities that may be available to us. The announcement also took the Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Department by surprise. And you've got one simple federal decision right now that we're still trying to analyze. Mm -hmm. And the state has not rendered a decision on the same topic. Cattaraugus County has the Oil Springs, Allegheny, and Cattaraugus Indian Reservations, and the city of Salamanca sits on one of them. Now enforcement of marijuana laws has become very complicated. So without knowing what's in place with this new decision at all, it seems that the edges of it are very, very loose. There's not a very good system of checks and balances in place. A concern is that the new enforcement policy on sovereign Indian territories will lead to a higher rate of drug addiction among Native Americans. And law enforcement fears it will turn reservations into magnets for trouble. And you're talking about something that historically has involved crime, has involved violence, has involved money, has involved power. And uh, so those, as the sheriff of Cattaraugus County, yes, I have concerns. Right now, Cattaraugus County sheriffs and the Seneca Nation have a good working relationship. And Seneca leaders say they are very aware of the concerns for their nation and the surrounding community. Nation's council is going to have to, to uh, understand what the various options might be. And they're also going to have to engage the uh, communities in terms of whether or not they're interested in doing anything at all in this area. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to monitor where this goes. Now the feds are not taking a complete hands-off approach. They will still prosecute marijuana cases on Indian lands when minors are involved or there is a connection to other illegal drugs, guns, or gangs. Reporting live tonight, Ed Riley 7.